No. <laughs> this is very interesting. We'll wait to see what the trade financiers say in the trade finance panel, because this goes against everything we've been told, Ivan, for a decade, I think. There we go. Sorry. The, 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 the question is this. Is, it, is one jurisdiction going to respect the orders and awards of another jurisdiction that the parties have chosen? Now, if the answer is no, we won't respect them, you must come to our court system, then that country is going to find itself having economic problems because there is a disincentive <coughs> yeah, um, for investors or commercial people to participate in economies that don't permit choices of law that people want to engage in as, as free market agents. And the net result, of course, is that what you have to do is to build in an additional transaction cost into the risks of the local legal system. I'll say a few words about Dubai because it's interesting. The Emirati federal court system is regarded by some people as moderately unsatisfactory. So, so much so that there was commercial and political pressure to create another legal system in the United Arab Emirates called the Dubai International Financial Center full of English lawyers and judges. And that is now treated for the purposes of Emirati federal law as a separate emirate. So you walk in that building and it has all its own laws, judges and courts. And that was created as a result of political pressure because people found doing things like um, uh, asset forfeiture or seizure in the conventional Emirati courts unsatisfactory. And now the Emirati authorities are obliged to enforce DIFC judgments just as much as they are the judgments of the courts of Dubai or Abu Dhabi. And by the way, a little trick, although it's completely hopeless enforcing arbitration awards generally in the United Arab Emirates, let me tell you how to do it. Here's a free takeaway. I'm in charge for this. You take your foreign arbitration award to the Dubai International Financial Center court, you get them to register it um, automatically, and then they'll enforce it for you. Perfect. Thank you very much, thank you. It's all good stuff, you know, Matthew's a Yorkshireman, that's why he's so direct. <coughs> Great. Thank you very much, Matthew. Um, so now it is the trade finance panel. Nicola, you're coming up here. Nicola is very kindly um, still moderating the panel, having in fact been in hospital last week with a hip replacement. Am I allowed to say that for public? Well, you said it. Um, <laughs> um, and Nicola is coming up here, and Tony Ford's out there, Jean Francois Lambert. Lambert, Ruben and Jikia. Who's that big man at the end there? That's John McNamara, my old friend. 